Okay, we're back here at EMC World. This is day two of theCUBE, exclusive coverage. Silicon Angle and Wikibon's theCUBE. We are on the ground, on the floor at EMC World. Mm -hmm. Exclusive coverage, three days. We're at the end of day two. We're wrapping up, but we wanted to bring in our friends. So at the end of the day, we get a little <laughs> tired, a little punchy, but we want to kind of get the word out. We'd like to highlight tech athletes, as we say, and important people, especially social media. We want to highlight Cheryl Chamberlain and Carrie Anderson. Um, guys, we met, what, two and a half years ago. Yes. Yeah. First of all, welcome to theCUBE. Thank again, you. Again, and first time on theCUBE. Mm -hmm. um, we met two years ago, and we always talked about, you know, society, tech, women in tech, women in work, EMC, diversity, all those things, but more importantly, social media. Mm -hmm. um, so, Cheryl, tell us some of the things you're doing here, because you got some news you want to share around some cutting edge things around social media, outreach, inclusion, community, et cetera, around women. So please share with the folks out there, because you know I'm very passionate about this, something that's close to my heart. So please share the news. Absolutely, so your passion is what drives passion for others. And we saw that today when we watched you on theCUBE. But for me, my vision has been to make EMC the center of leadership and innovation through the eyes of women. So how do you do that? You look at the world and there's so much going on out there, excitement around technology, you need to bring that world inside. Because if you don't, people stay in the box that they live in. And so bringing the outside world in, the inside world goes out, and we create new communities of innovation. And there's a lot of ways to get that done. Yeah. And here at EMC World, we're taking it to the next level. We've created EMC Woman of the World. <laughs> Have you seen what that is? No, tell us more. Yeah, so I'm going to introduce <laughs> Kari Anderson, and that's our speaker at EMC, Woman of the World, to talk well, a little well, bit about uh, what uh, she's hold doing. Hold on, before Kari gets oh, sure. explain more about the Women of the World thing and what was, what was announced there. Explain a little bit more. Yeah, no, absolutely. So if you think about it, there are so many women that are here at EMC World, and they need something to really raise their capability, their visibility. They don't need to learn about work-life balance and how to ma manage yeah. their lives. They need to learn to be more influential yeah. and really understand how they can change things around themselves and be innovative. Yeah, and, and be uh, participatory and active and leaders. That's right. Yeah. And how their leadership can actually get the company and the people they work with to the next level. And when you talk about community, it's not just about EMC any world. Yeah. It's that outside yeah. world, customers and partners working together. It's an ecosystem, it's community. Carrie, tell us, tell us what's happening so, and, 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 and more about the program. Well, the part they brought me in for is I believe the higher the tech, the higher the touch. And it's been exciting being here because I believe if you aren't quotable and you aren't connective, then you can't work with people extremely unlike you. So, Innovation happens at the edges, and we need to find sweet spots of mutual benefit. So a lot of the themes that matter to me appear in a different way here at EMC World. So it's been exciting to learn and to share the hidden behavior cues that I've been tracking as a journalist with the women here and with the men. Well, you know, <laughs> I've, I've always looked at the stats, and, and, and some say on social media, say Twitter and Facebook, it's a 50-50. In some cases, Facebook might have a little bit more skewed women over men, et cetera. But it's basically, that's the world we live in, I mean, men and women living together. But in the tech business, it's a male-dominated culture. We've seen that in Silicon Valley uh, recently with some, you know, some, some recent news that's pretty ugly. But there's more and more women getting into the workforce where they are technical, they are CEOs, they are leaders, and we need to have more support. And so how do we do that? How does all this work? I mean, EMC, it's, there's still a lot of males in tech around, and statistically, less women. How yeah. is that changing? How do we foster more connectedness? It, it's really teaching women about their influence and that their capability and understanding about collaborating across communities that give them power at the table or that seat at the table, a voice that will change what it's looking like. But it's also going out there and, and identifying new ways to call IT. I think we should rebrand IT to design <laughs> centers. Because really yeah. engineering is yeah. more about design. Yes, I agree. And if we start that rebranding process, I think that will draw more women in and actually more people to be involved in tech. Carrie, what's your experience with that? I mean, do you agree? I do, I believe labeling has an enormous effect. I loved your opening ceremony here, how you label things and show the connective part. I believe the next step happens, this is a lot of what EMC does is metaphorical to the human world. Um, the open source, the, the trust and so on. 
But when you have social media, the leverage which I've really liked watching from Cheryl is to have a reputation in several domains and leveraged value so that you build credibility and you see patterns ahead of time. And that's key for EMC and I think Women do it in a different way, not better or worse. Yeah, no, but we see different patterns. Yeah, and there's some great examples of great leadership. And you know, Cheryl and I both know many people and women who are kicking some butt out there, and and that's they do it their way. And, and guys do it their way. Yeah. So, what information can people find? Is there a site? Is there a Facebook page? Is there any coordinates that we can you'd like to share? Yeah. So uh, on LinkedIn, there's a women in technology group that we have, and there's almost 3,000 women that are participating in it, and it's an international, global community. It's not an EMC site, so we have lots of discussions there. I moderate a number of those discussions. Um, on Facebook, there's a Women's Leadership Forum site that we manage. It's a West Coast Women's Leadership Forum. But now on Twitter, we've been creating pound sign EMC Wow Women of World. And that's where we want people to share their ideas about hidden behavioral cues and how they could be more influential. In fact, tomorrow evening when we have our event from five to seven, and can you believe this? It's in the Casanova room. I don't know <laughs> how that <laughs> happened. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah. Um, it depends, how, depends how you look at that, you know? <laughs> Nothing, there's anything wrong with that, but. Um, so, pound hashtag EMC wow. wow. Okay, women of the world. Yes. Great hashtag. Yeah, by it the way. is definitely fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Um, and that's going to be the thread. People can participate. Do you guys do any like tweet chats or other community outreach at all? Uh, we have Infamous, which is a company that will be there that will be taking those tweets and creating clouds live during the event. So we'll be capturing keywords about what people are tweeting about and capturing questions that we're going to use live during the program. Well, I'm getting the hook from Kean, but I want to give you guys a final word. I would like each of you to share with the audience just your, your perspective of of this path you're going down and, and things that you'd like to see for a preferred future? I'd like to see people using their best talents more often with other people who also are to accomplish greater things together than they can on their own. And that means that men and women are finding the most productive, satisfying ways to work. That's amazing, blow me away. But for me, I really want to see a community that's broader, bigger, and diverse. So it's not really just about women, it's about men and women working together to achieve greater good for all. You guys are amazing. Glad to have you on theCUBE and get that plug out there. I also believe that, you know, I think people being open and, and having a candid conversation without a zero blame zone, just to have those conversations yes. and, and, and just work through it. And I think, you know, with social media and crowdsourcing, yeah, the more people can be watching and participating or lurking, then good results can happen. So you, you know how I feel, congratulations. EMC Wow is the hashtag on Twitter, uh, and Facebook and LinkedIn, check it out. Uh, Women of the World, EMC, Cheryl, Kerry, great job. Thank you very Thank much. You, John. We'll Thank be right you. back. We're going to bring in some more friends. We have uh, <laughs> kind of our, our, our good friends. Uh, Henrique is going to swing in, and also Richard Schlesinger, friend of theCUBE. We'll be right back <laughs> after this short break. <laughs>